Hey kids, my name's Jigsy and I'm here with my friend Olivia to tell you how blood plants through a heart with pulmonary atresia with an intact ventricular septum. Listen closely, there's a lot of information to get through, but don't worry, if we're going too fast, you can always pause, take a break, rewind and listen again. And don't forget, you can download all the information below so you can read it again later or talk it over with an adult who knows their science. Here we go! The heart's job is to pump blood, first to the lungs where it collects oxygen, and then on around the body where that oxygen helps to make energy. Why don't you re-watch the normal heart video to refresh your memory? When you have a heart that has a special problem, the flow of blood is different. This video explains how a pulmonary atresia, no hole in the heart, work before any treatment. Say hello to George. He's back with us to help with our explanation. Hi George. George starts his journey blue. Because he's got no oxygen in him. He's deoxygenated. Well remembered, Jigsy. He and his blood cell buddies travel to the heart from the head and body. This blood collects in the top chamber on the right side of the heart. The right atrium. The atrium squeezes and opens up a door. Called the tricuspid valve. This allows Blue George to pass into the right pumping chamber. The right ventricle. This ventricle then squeezes. In a normal heart, George would pass through another door called the pulmonary valve, into the pulmonary artery and up to the lungs. In this heart, the pulmonary valve has not grown properly, so George can't go this way. He has to find another way out of the right side of the heart. That's right, Jigsy. George has to go back into the top chamber on the right side of the heart, where he then passes from the right side of the heart through a hole in the wall of the chamber. This is called the forena mavale. He then goes into the left collecting chamber. The left atrium. Then blue George mixes with red oxygenated blood cells. Let's call this one Georgina. <laughs> okay, Georgina and her red blood cell buddies are red because they're returning from the lungs to the left collecting chamber, the atrium. The atrium squeezes and the mixed blood passes through the open door, called the mitral valve, into the left pumping chamber, the left ventricle. Hold on, that's a lot of information. So George has gone through the hole between the top chambers in the heart and has mixed with Georgina and the other red blood cells. When the chamber squeezes, both red and blue, George and Georgina, mix together and move through the door into the next chamber, the ventricle. Yes, that's right, Jigsy. The mitral valve, or door, then closes and the left ventricle squeezes, opening the aortic valve and pushing blood up the artery, the aorta. Some of the mixed blood travels around the body, the rest goes through a connection between the aorta and the pulmonary artery. The ductus arteriosus. It then goes up to the lungs, where the blue blood picks up oxygen. Now George is red. So when the mixed blood goes up the artery, it can go on two different journeys. Some of it, including George, goes to the lungs to be oxygenated. Some of it goes around the body to create energy. Exactly, Jigsy. You can see that this heart is not normal, so doctors will usually try to operate in the first few weeks of a baby's life to help improve the way that the blood flows through the heart and around the body. Operations can make the heart work better, but it cannot make the heart work normally. Wow, thanks for helping me explain how the pulmonary atresia heart works, Olivia. I've learned loads and I hope my LHM kids gang have too.